Hi guys, welcome to my sewing space. For those who don't know me, my name is Big Melopula and this is my channel. Now, today I'm going to be talking with you. I'm going to be talking to those people that are new to sewing or those people that want to learn how to. Now, the stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is the things that I wish that somebody had sat me down and just shared with me, you know, just to avoid the whole frustration because honestly, sewing alone is a big frustration. So now you can imagine if you are new into this whole Thing. So to avoid defrustration as somebody who's new, I'm here for you. Okay, so without bothering too much, let me get into the video. So number one on my list will be switch on the machine. Now I know this sounds crazy because how else are you supposed to do anything? Now I'm saying this because I've done the mistake so many times and only to realize like three minutes into it that the machine is off. So the first thing that I would think of was maybe I didn't thread it up properly because I mean I'm new to this. So yeah, that was the first thing that would come to mind. Whereas in the actual fact, the machine was was just off. I just needed to... Number two, press the foot must be down. Yo, guys this is like the common mistake when you sew all the time before you hit that pedal just check if your presser foot is down because otherwise your your stitching will be loose your stitching will be loose because your fabric is just flying in the air so the presser foot is there to just stabilize and hold the fabric and the machine together okay so number three always turn the hand wheel towards you and never away from you so you will turn it this way that is anti-clockwise yeah so always turn your hand wheel towards you and never away from you that is the basic rule doesn't matter whether you are doing a back stitch or not because there's a back stitch button so even if you're doing a back stitch you would still have your hand wheel this way while you're pressing on to the the what is this back stitch button number four do a fabric test now guys for every project that you start i would advise you to do a fabric test so basically you will take a small piece of the fabric that you just cut out and just run it through the machine and see, you know, the cotton, if you use the right cotton of the, the, the right cotton for the material, if the nil is the right uh, size, and again, you'll be checking if the tension is right. So number five, hold your threads. Now, I remember somebody asked me, why is the threads keep on jumping out whenever they start sewing? It's because your threads are not long enough. So make sure that your threads are long enough and you hold them for the first two or three stitches. And by that, you will use the hand wheel. Number six, finish off with your needle up. Now, I hope this makes sense. Okay, because I mean, if you are going to pull your fabric with your needle in, do you expect it to come out? Exactly. So yeah, make sure that well, whenever you pull out the fabric, your what's this the presser foot is up as well as the the needle so your needle your take up lever and your pedal has to be up so th those are the three points that need to be up before you pull out the fabric but if your needle is up then the take up lever will be up and then you just need to pull up the presser foot number seven cut out your threads after each seam now i don't care whether you're making a simple scarf or you're making a ball gown now guys imagine honestly imagine if you're making a ball gown and you only have to cut out all the threads at the end are you gonna have a neat um dress at the end i don't think so so yeah whether it's a gown or uh, just a simple scarf cut after each seam it just makes life easier simple as that like number eight pre-wash your material and iron it afterwards Guys, you don't want to end up with a garment that's shrunk only because you didn't wash it or iron it at the, um, before you work on it. It's not a lot of work. Uh, you just hand wash it. Try avoid using washing machine. You just wash it, dry and iron it. And yeah, then you can start working on it. Number nine, choose your material wisely. You choose your fabric wisely because... I know a lot of people can be carried away, especially after the first or the second project, you know, you think you're on top of the world, you're here. 
you know yeah don't be carried away i also got carried away and i ended up buying expensive fabric or advanced fabric just try and avoid using the complicated material okay avoid silkwin avoid chiffon avoid just in your slippery material just work with uh things like cotton yeah just keep it there just work with cotton and maybe viscose but it can also be tricky just stick with cotton rather and lastly number 10 never ignore your grain line guys i've said this more than once when you cut out your fabric do not ignore your grain line okay because it contributes to your final project so how it fits on you will be determined by how you cut it in the beginning so do not ignore your grain line okay that's it for me today i hope i wasn't talking too much it's something that i don't always do please forgive me if i was if you really uh, found this video very useful to you please don't forget to comment in the box below uh, like and share and don't forget to subscribe until we meet next time